Right, well, hello there, people out there. In the view of us, it is I, Captain Steve, and today, chums, I'm going to be doing a reactions video. Yeah, I haven't done a reactions video before, and I'm hoping that you're going to like this in the view of us. So let's hit on up what I'm actually going to be doing a reaction to. So there we go. Let's hit this. Okay, I have searched for mermaids caught on camera. Yeah, so let's have a look which one we're going to react to. Let's have a quick look, see? Yeah, so let's scroll on down. Dun, 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 dun. Top 10. Yes. Oh, seriously. But that's just a woman in a freaking costume. Okay, with 10 mermaid sightings you won't believe. Right, so we've got we've got a choice of two here, or we've even got five. Hmm, maybe go for quality over quantity, maybe. I mean, what's the running time? Four minutes. All right, for my first reaction video, since it's the first one I'm ever going to do, sod it, I'm going to jump straight in. We're going to do the we're going to do the freaking ten. I mean, this is actually this has had two point five million views. This one's had seven point two million views. Yeah, let's support the underdog budget. We're going for this one. Ten mermaid sightings you won't believe are real. All right, okay. <laughs> I'm already on the fence on this one. To be fair, I'm, I'm, I've actually fell off the fence. Okay, well, I haven't got premium or, or whatever. So, you know, you're going to have to put up with adverts, but I will skip them as soon as I can. So here we go. If you grew up watching The Little Mermaid, you're bound to have wished to see a mermaid in real life. But alas, they don't really exist. Or do they? From a terrifying one found in India, one that was accidentally discovered to one that literally has a one million dollar bounty on its head here are 10 real up, mermaid mate. sightings you won't believe are real number 10 the indian mermaid mermaids have always been a popular legendary creature in india there are lots of stories that have featured mermaids and it's no surprise that a lot of people have thought that they've seen them lurking in the waters however it was this video that shook everyone when it surfaced in 2016 the video showed a half fish, half man type of creature with the face <laughs> of a real fish and fins, but the torso was entirely no. human. The most bizarre part was that the torso even had arms and hands attached. Oh my God, seriously? I mean, what, oh, just, what the, what the actual fudge is going on here? I mean, what the, what the fudge is that? It's like, Remember the movie Total Recall? And there was that alien lady that had like three knockers. This thing's gone to frickin' town and I've done it with frickin' four, mate. And look at that, look at that. It could have had a six pack, but no, it's got a frickin' beer gut. <laughs> Mermaid my ass. Okay, right, let's, let's put that back in the toolbox. But yeah, that's, um, oh dear. That, 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 that's, uh, there we go. Oh, fudge and heck, wrong frickin' one. Here we go, we want this one. Put that one over here. Look at this. You're having a freaking Jeffrey, mate. You're having a Jeffrey. So if you don't know what having a Jeffrey means, it's like <clears throat> you're smoking a freaking reefer or something. You're on one. That's that's either the work of CGI or someone that's got too much time on their hands with Photoshop or something. It looks like they've molded the body out of something like FIMO or something and then spray painted it. But I have to give credit where credit's due. It's got a nice sort of shine to it. But what I would expect to see if this was a full-on freaking mermaid is some of the scales to come onto this body. I mean, also, if, you, if you're evolving in the freaking sea, you want to remain streamlined? Having freaking knockers and a beer gut doesn't quite deliver on that, does it? You know, you don't see walruses with freaking knockers, do you? So this... To me, looks like it's some sort of splicing shite that's gone on. It's some sort of model maker gone freaking crazy. That's what that is. But let's carry on. Let's hit play. This video was spread all over social media. And there are lots of different theories about what this weird creature is and how it got to the beaches of India. Since the video was anonymously posted and the mermaid wasn't really turned into the authorities, no one really knows what this mysterious scary creature is. Whatever it is, it's one freaky being. And if it's real, who knows what else could be lurking in the oceans? If you went to a fish and chip shop and you said, yeah, I'd like some cod, please. And you got given, no, no, just no. Okay, Number next. nine, the zombie mermaid. What do you expect to see on a peaceful walk on the beach? A couple of dolphins jumping around, the wind blowing through your hair and an overall good time, right? That's exactly what Kirsty Jones, a mom from Merseyside 
Sorry, I've I've got I've got images in my head of getting served at at a freaking chip shop now. I, 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 that, I'm not. I'm not gonna sleep well tonight, people. Liverpool thought was in for her when she went to High Town Beach with her children in June of 2021. But halfway through the day, she came across something that was way too scary. An entire skeleton of what looked like a mermaid. The skeleton okay. started off with a human-like skull, but not exactly human. That's a freaking it is connected cake. with some ribs and a spine that goes on and on till the very end of what seems to be its tail. She posted the strange finding on social media, trying to figure out just what this strange creature could be. By the looks of it, it's a pretty convincing mermaid skeleton, unless there's a massive human-sized fish we don't know about. Okay, one second, one second, let's just scoot that. Make sure I've got this on the highest I can possibly have it. Let's just up the quality of this so we can really see the pixels. Well, that made no freaking difference, but you know what? This is, this is interesting. Okay. Now, I would expect this, you see this area here? So that's the lower part of the spine. But I would expect that to be connected to the tail end of this thing. I'd still imagine vertebrae going all the way down the tail. Otherwise, its tail is just going to be flapping about in the freaking ocean doing nothing. But then at the same time, where the heck did she get a freaking rib cage from if it, this was going to be staged? And I can't imagine some lady going down to the beach with a freaking shed load of freaking bones and placing them there. It's just, it's too elaborate. But what creature could this belong to? What sort of other sea mammal has a rib cage like that? I don't know enough about sea anatomy. So you know what? I think this one is going to be getting a what the fudge. Yeah, a what the fudge. That needs more freaking research, basically. What the fudge? Yeah, thank you. That, that, that's, um, that's a crazy one. I mean, just how, you know? What the... What the fudge indeed? What the fudge indeed? So yeah, I don't, I don't know on that one. I don't... I, I don't, is it a real mermaid? The jury's out. The jury's out. At least they are in my head. I can't make up my mind whether that is real, whether it is fake. That's getting a what the fudge. Made skeleton. Unless there's a massive human-sized fish we don't know about. Before we move on. Well, I would say if it was a mermaid, it'd have freaking arms though, wouldn't it? It would have had arms and maybe a skull. There's none of that there. So part of me thinks maybe a dugong, or perhaps they deliberately removed any sort of flippery type skeleton bits. And just kick the, the head away just to make it look like a freaking mermaid. It, I don't think they placed the bones there, but could they have made it look more mermaid y like? Yes, probably. We've got a speed challenge for you. If you subscribe to Facts Junkie and hit the bell icon yeah, in the next five seconds, well, I haven't yet. you'll win I, 10 I, I years the channel of incredible details, luck. Yeah. Give it a shot, it actually works. Number eight The Mermaid at Kiryatame Beach. While a lot of mermaid sightings in the world are fairly vague, this story is going to blow your mind. In 2009, there were several sightings of a mermaid in Kiryat, Israel. People that were totally unconnected to each other all claimed to have a mysterious mermaid in the waters. They'd all say that they've seen a woman in the water doing tricks, like she was a dolphin. I have to say, this channel has used great use of stock type footage. I mean, it really does build the intrigue. Sometimes you just get, you know, slideshows in powerpoint this guy's gone to freaking down so hats off to you all of the stories claim that it was a woman for sure a woman that never comes out of the water entirely the general public created such a frenzy that the government also got concerned and they put out a one million dollar reward for whoever was able to get any information on this mermaid it got so crazy one million dollar reward Fudge and heck, I'm gonna go get a mermaid costume, slap it on somebody, and take a couple of pickies. That even NBC sent in one of their film crews to the area and scouted for the mermaid too. After days of searching, the crew saw the mermaid too, but she was too fat. That's exactly what these lads have freaking done. One million dollars up for grabs, lads. Right, okay, we're gonna get the most convincing freaking mermaid costume we can, get one of our missuses to sit on the freaking rock, wearing a costume at distance. We're gonna be holding a camera, we're gonna make it look a little bit, we're gonna move it around a little bit on freaking purpose to make it sort of slightly pixely so it looks even more real. That's exactly what these guys are freaking done. Do I think this is real? No. All they could capture on camera was darkness. The legendary oh, mermaid is still out there, and the million dollar bounty on her head still exists. Oh, the way that move was pretty Number darn seven. convincing. Count the way that... We've, we've got to... You're not going to do this in slow-mo, mate. No, for fudge's sake. Okay, right, okay. I thought he'd do all the hard work and editing so I don't freaking have to. I don't know how to do it in freaking slow-mo. We're just going to have to watch it again. We saw the mermaid too, but she was too fast. All they could capture on camera was darkness. 
the legendary mermaid is still out there, and the million dollar bounty on her head still exists. Again, okay, there wasn't... All the effort was in the, her arms there. There was no sort of use in the town to get over those rocks. And the only time you really saw the town move is when she fell into the ocean, but that could have just been momentum. I don't think it's CGI. I think that is a person in a very convincing mermaid costume. And, you know, it had its back to them. So, you, you, I don't know. It just feels too staged. It feels too staged, but at the same time, that was pretty darn freaking cool. So I'm not going to be putting up a, a what the fudge on that, or um, you're having a freaking Jeffrey. I'm going to be putting in Ass Biscuit, mainly because I think this was staged and could be wasting our time with all of this sort of stuff. Yeah, anyhow, let's, let's put that back in my toolbox and we'll continue on. Hmm. Number seven, Kawaii Point Mermaid. Some mermaids have only been seen by a person or two, and there's barely any proof of their existence. So you can refute if they really saw what they thought they saw. This case is different. In 1998, professional diver and photographer Jeff Leitcher, along with six other divers, was diving in the sunny Kona coast off of Hawaii when they saw a woman swimming with dolphins. That wouldn't be so weird, but the woman was keeping up with the dolphins, swimming faster than they had ever seen a human swim. However, it was when she leapt out of the water that they realized that oh, she no, wasn't a an human advert. after all. Got an advert, Even yeah. though she had Mute. What the fudge is this advert? I like to try and guess what adverts are actually for. I mean, what the... Oh, it's a game. All right, fine. I thought it was planning for parenthood or something. The bottom half of her was covered in scales and tapered off to a fin. It's a woman she in a was a mermaid. Acting as fast as he could, Jeff captured a picture of the mermaid, but since he was below her, it's right. a silhouette instead. Okay, um, I've got a few things to say about this. Right, so let's grab, let's grab my sec heel. Let's put the circle on here right for a second. Okay, right there. Now, I've circled the actual hand because you can quite clearly see the digits are actually separated by quite a lot. If this chappy or chapette or whatever had evolved inside of the oceans, I would expect to see more webbing going on in, in between the hands. Almost be almost, you know, round as puck shapes, you know, for swimming, for paddling, you know, hasn't got that. I may even expect to see something happening under here in the armature, almost like, you know, almost like one of those squirrely type suits people fly in for Red Bull or whatever. I don't know. And also, that this just feels too chunky here. You'd think that it, it might be slightly longer. I don't know. Or, or have more of a paddly type tail like that previous one. This one is very fish shaped, isn't it? And it's hard to tell whether it's got hair there or what or what's going on with its actual head. Is it facing down? Is this the eyes that we're seeing here and this the mouth? Hmm. It's hard to say. It, it looks almost like a still image where I thought we was getting some video of this thing swimming past fast. Um, let's just hit play just in case I've paused it. But, you know, let's put, let's put my tool away inside of this box. Get back in your box, tool. There we go. Bow. The photo has been studied by experts from all over the world, and they all agreed that it's a genuine photo and hasn't been doctored. That, along with the fact that all seven divers present have the same story about the mermaid, makes this one of the most convincing real mermaid sightings in history. Number Okay, fine, but it's a still image. It's a still image. It's not a great still image at that. You know, you've got all these divers there. You would like to hope that one of them would have got a better freaking picture or a bit of freaking footage. So, I don't know. It, it's, it's, you've just got to take their word for it. For them, it's probably real as fudge, you know? But for me, looking at this as an outsider, it's a still freaking image. Number six, the Greenland Sea Mermaid. There are lots of different versions of mermaids. You see, you see like her suit here. Now that previous image, the tail started about here actually, didn't it? Which is kind of interesting, but you know, maybe her legs were split into the fin at the bottom there, you know? I just think it was a very convincing costume. Costume. To me, there just didn't seem to be enough finials going on to help her propel through the water. It didn't look like that thing had evolved in the sea. It looked like somebody wearing a pretty shite mermaid costume. It's that exist all over the world but this next one will make you rethink how you imagine mermaids would be. And well, they're far from what Ariel was like. In 2013, oh, researchers were on a submarine oh. dive in the Greenland Sea. And although they were just exploring the seabed, what they found was shocking. A real mermaid caught on video. While filming their dive, oh, they caught before. on two separate cameras, a creature touching the glass of their submarine 
pausing there for about a millisecond before swimming away. They claimed that it was a mermaid, and well, from the looks of it, it looks like a pretty scary alien -y mermaid that we would not want. Okay, now let me just let me just get back a little bit there. Oh, there we go. We, we had the hand there for a second. Where was it? Come on. It's gonna be hard. For it was me a mermaid. Exactly and well, from the, right the looks point. of it, it looks like a pretty scary alien. Okay, I just missed it again. Can I jog this back? Oh, well, look at that. You've got the face there. Look at that. Okay, now that face looks quite streamlined. Now, if a creature was underneath the sea in darkness, you would expect it to have larger, blacker sort of eyes. And that definitely isn't the mermaid like the littlest mermaid or anything like that, is it? And you can see that there's no real nose, which I'd also expect to be the thing, you know, because if you're evolving swimming through sea really fast, the nose is going to be flatter rather than elongated like mine. You know what I'm saying? So for me, that face looks quite real. But then if I could pause it, look, you can see the hand in the little picture down there. Now, you see how webbed that hand was, yeah? The only thing is there's no webbing going from the thumb to the um, index finger, which you would imagine would be one of... Then again, if it's poseable, maybe it's going to need that for picking up shells or lobsters or whatever these things freaking eat. But that's quite a convincing-looking hand, isn't it? You know, that's, that's how you would expect a mermaid's hand to look. Or at least that's... If evolution plays part in it, that's ex that's exactly what I would expect to see. This, to me, is the most convincing one. So I'm not going to be putting anything... I mean, if anything, this is a what the fudge, because what the fudge is actually happening here. I mean, what we don't know is how deep this submarine is. But I'd imagine it's quite deep. And the reason I say that is because the amount of light that's penetrating from the surface. There is none. The only thing that's illuminating down here are the headlights on the frickin' sub. So to get to that sort of depth where you don't see the sunlight, he's got a fair few frickin' metres. Yeah, and not just talking a few metres. It's like maybe, I don't know, 50 metres or so, maybe even more. I would like to see somebody free diving to that sort of depth. You can't see any snorkel on this thing. You can't see any bubbles coming off of it. It doesn't, for somebody to free dive to that depth, dressed as a freaking mermaid is freaking phenomenal if that's the case. I don't think this is fake. I think what they've captured here could be a real freaking mermaid. Okay, all right. That's just blowing my freaking mind. Okay. They claimed that it was a mermaid. And well, from the looks of it, it looks like a pretty scary alien -y mermaid that we would not want to see when yeah, we're having mermaid. a fun day at the beach. Yeah, the Number five, the Minnesota mermaid. There's one thing we can all agree on. It's that the governments throughout the- I do like this guy's, this guy's voice. The Minnesota mermaid. ...world do things that the general public doesn't know about. But could these things include secret mermaid experiments? That might be the case, because this video oh. shot by an Australian tourist in Minnesota caught exactly that. He was relaxing on a fairly empty beach when he noticed two large vehicles pull up, and from them emerged men in hazmat suits. They walked over to the beach and pulled out a body from the water. If that wasn't weird enough, the body was a regular human up top, but instead of legs, they had a green tail. They took the mermaid-looking body, put it on a stretcher, and took it away. Who these men were and what they did with the mermaid is still a mystery to this day. What? Okay. One, the camera was all over the pricking place. Two, you can hardly even see the pricking green tail. And three, you would have thought they would have brought their vehicle a little bit pricking closer, wouldn't you? You know? Or had more of them so people couldn't get a glimpse of the pricking giant tail just sitting there. Hmm. Suspect. Staged. Number four. The legendary Kai Island's mermaid. Yeah, that last one was a pricking ass biscuit. Is this a game as well? There are many stories from World War II that are terrifying to hear, and one of these is from the Kai Islands of Indonesia. Japanese soldiers stationed on the island in 1943 were always hearing stories about mermaids, and they thought that the local villagers had been making it all up, until they encountered one themselves. They had seen what they called oh. orange ikan, which translates to manfish. Really? It was a 150 centimeters tall half man half fish, with light pink skin, spikes all along its spine, and a mouth that strangely looked like a carp's. Several soldiers had seen the orangutan in real life, and since they looked very scary. See, now that's how you'd expect. That, that's kind of how I envisage mermaids. Frick, look, the gills were actually built into like a chest cavity. That's pretty darn freaking epic. That's a cool picture. They even tried to shoot them. The units even tried to get a few researchers involved. But since there was an active war going on, it was impossible for them to pull that off. 
And because of that, the legendary Kai Island's mermaids have... Hold on, are you trying to say that this is their photo? Are you trying to say this is what they captured as a mermaid? Because that looks that looks too CGI to me. That, that, no, that, 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 that can't be what he's saying. Surely. Okay, well, this one has, in my opinion, no freaking evidence whatsoever. What the... Right, I think I need to put on a headset or something so I can hear what they're blanking saying. I have to do that in the next episode. Stayed legendary. Number three, Main Island Mermaid. Fairies go past Main Island all the time, and it was like that in the 1960s too. One fairy in 1967 went by a creature that could only be described as a mermaid. The tourists on the boat claimed that they all saw a woman with dimples and long blonde hair sitting by one of the beaches. What was special about her was that she had a tail instead of legs, and she was just sitting there snacking on a giant salmon. No, just no, no. I, I don't believe mermaids would have long, blonde, flowing hair, basically. I, I know that's a bit of a weird thing to say, but you show me another sea mammal. Show me another sea mammal that, that's got long, flowing hair. There freaking isn't. You know, you, you, would, you would evolve. You would evolve past that. You have hair to stop things from ingressing. It's like your eyebrows. That stops water from going in your eyes or whatever. You, Maybe, you know, it's like walruses, they have sort of, sort of sea manatees have sort of eye hair things, but that you don't have big long flow. That's just going to give you drag. So, no, I, I honestly don't think if there were mermaids that evolved from freaking eons ago that they would have hair. So, no, I think that's staged and it's a shite picture anyway. So, you know what? That one, that one is definitely getting an ass biscuit. That one, that that's that's. You know, that's just that's just silliness. It is completely falsehood, in my opinion. Yeah, say what you will. Yeah, stand up in the comments if you think I'm wrong. Yeah, put them inside the comments. I love reading that sort of stuff. It's just my opinion at the end of the day. Sitting there, snacking on a giant salmon. This could have been an easy to dismiss story, but one of the tourists actually managed to get a photo of her too. Now, half the people that see the photo think that it's just a regular woman pretending to be a mermaid, yeah. while the other half claims that she has got to be a real mermaid. Why? No one really knows which side is correct, because once these pictures got out, the mysterious mermaid mysteriously disappeared and was never seen again. <laughs> Number 2. California Mermaid Definitely not a mermaid. In April of 2017, the authorities at Table Mountain in Fresno County went in to check up on a woman at a local beach. When they went there, they found her to be entirely naked. She claimed to be a mermaid named Joanna that washed up on the shore. Not the woman was said to be anywhere between 16 and 30 years of age and had webbed toes. What's weirder is that when the police went in to take her fingerprints and identify her, nothing came up. It's like the woman or the mermaid has never existed. Well, if she's never committed a crime, she's not going to be on the freaking police database. And the fact that she's got... I mean, look at those webbed toes. Okay? No. I mean... That's, that's clearly something that's not quite right going on there. But I, well, mermaids have freaking tails for a start. And there's nothing that screams out to me that she's evolved in the sea. I mean, where, there's no gills. There's no freaking nothing. She might just have freaky freaking feet, mate. So you know what? That's that's also getting a freaking ass biscuit. That's an ass biscuit. Definitely. Yeah. She's just got she's just got manky freaking feet. And let's let's face it. They asked her questions and she answered in freaking English. If she evolved under the freaking sea, don't you think she would have answered in some sort of eh, like a freaking dolphin? Okay, anyway, let's, let's press on. I've had enough of that one. What's weirder is that when the police went in to take her fingerprints and identify her, nothing came up. It's like the woman or the mermaid has never existed. Number one, Zimbabwe Dam Mermaid. In 2012, underwater construction workers were called in to work on a blockage in the Zimbabwe Dam but every time a worker went down there, they'd come up terrified. They'd say that they had seen a terrifying mare creature, and even for all the money in the world, they wouldn't go back in there. Even though the agriculture of the area depended on that drain being fixed, and a lot of money was offered to fix the dam, workers kept going in and practically running away. The authorities even hired people from a totally different region, thinking that maybe the local stories were making the workers think there was a mermaid there, but even those workers would say the same thing and refuse to return. To this day, no worker has managed to go in there and actually fix the issue with the dam because the mermaid that lives there think there was a mermaid there. But okay, so that photo, that that picture that you keep putting up, this one, that hasn't been taken by any of these guys. This is just a, a bit of image that he's used to say, well, yeah, this is the story. 
I don't think that's them working in the dam and this is what they saw. Um, which is a bit of a shame because whatever that, that, that I think that's a mermaid costume yet again, though, people. But then there's, <laughs> I mean, there could be some sort of sea creature amongst the, uh, the, the around by the dam. If you've ever watched like uh, River Monsters with that Wade guy, you know, he's come across some weird freaking things, giant salamandery type looking creatures and all sorts of things. There could be something there that is terrifying them. I'm not going to take that away from them. But until there's video footage or a freaking photo, which this this story doesn't seem to have, no, that's just that's just a complete waste of our time. You shouldn't have put it in your top ten, my friend. Anyway, so who's who, whose channel is this? Go and have a look. So this is called Fax Junkie. You know what? There you go. I've hit a subscribe, Fax Junkie. Let's have a quick look at your video description. So here we go. And there's there's all the credits there and all the different bits and bobs. Indian mermaid, zombie mermaid. Yeah. Loads of bits and bobs inside of there if you really want to read into it and know a little bit more. But I've given you my opinions and that's what I'm all about. So that's Fax Junkie. Let's have a look what else is on Fax Junkie's channel so we can give a bit more of a shout. So here we go. Let's hit videos. Let's have a look what Fax Junkie is all about here. Ten scariest moments caught at sea. OK, fair enough. If a freaking octopus went on my freaking surfboard, I would be shy to my pants. One, because I'm crap at surfing. But that's just mental. OK. That crab is freaking, I, I know about those crabs. That crab meat costs a freaking fortune to get one of those lanky legs. A double-headed turtle, well, that's pretty cool. I saw video footage of this lamb with the one eye, the Cyclops lamb. Yeah, that, that's freaking weird. I, watch, I do watch quite a lot of freaky freaking videos, people. So if you've enjoyed this reaction video to mermaids, yeah. If you, you know, I watch these videos freaking anyway, so I might as well watch them with you and just talk about what my, what's going on inside my head and put it out there for you guys to enjoy. So if you have enjoyed this, let me know in the comments and hit a like, maybe share this, get it sort of trending, all that sort of shenanigans, and I'll do some more. Yeah, as simple as that. Okay, cool. What the fudge is this? You've been playing too much freaking Pokemon, mate, that you've got yourself on freaking Photoshop and made yourself one. What the heck is that? Ten unusual animals you won't believe exist. Oh my god, I so want to click that. I so want to click this. Ah, oh my days. The world is full of weirdness, people. Sometimes fact is, is crazier than fiction. Anyway, I better end off because I'm probably taking up too much of your day. So there we go, let's go back to me for a second there, peeps. So yeah, mermaids. It's the top 10. I don't know whether there was 10 in that video, actually. There might have been, but some of them I didn't even react to because they were that shite. It's like the, the guys in the hazmat suits, really. That just looks staged as fudge. You know, you, you would cordon off the beach firstly, wouldn't you? You'd put up some sort of yellow tape or whatever. And if it was a freaking mermaid, you wouldn't sort of just drag it out of the ocean where people can see that can video footage you. Or you would look around first. You see that guy at the camera? Go tell him to get do one. You know, jog on, mate. Yeah, this, you can't video this. We found a dead body. That's the sort of shit you would do, you know? And then you'd pull a freaking van down close. That just sc screams out completely staged. There wasn't enough of them. And there wasn't enough care or attention or due diligence happening there for my liking. So some of them you can just say, well, that's a complete freaking ass biscuit. You know, you, you, you're just wasting our time. Yeah. Having a Jeffrey, that's like, are oh, you on something? That's, you know, somebody's sort of faked that inside their bedroom or whatever. But th there was that one, that what the fudge, where I was on the fence with, with, with the uh, submarine underneath. That one was good. The one underneath the oceans in a submarine, because that guy looked genuinely shocked, didn't he, people? Anyway, let us know which one you like the most in the comments. Do you agree with me? Do you feel that some of these might have been real? Let me know which one. Until next time, cheery bye. Goodbye, goodbye. Hang goodbye again.